This week in Onuha Uncensored. Let's fucking get it. Let's fucking grab that 5k by the throat. Have a good party tonight. Becoming a temple in the old version of myself. First class flight. My African brother! Yeah, you're coming. <laughs> My man, Roman Empire man. Like From it. the office. Here in Dubai, ready for the Halloween party. Look at this view, guys. Look at this view. I feel like a Roman Empire. And here's my fucking empire. What do you think of it? Matching with the Hermes slippers, you know. My cape on. Have a good party tonight. Let's see you in the taxi. We're now getting a taxi, and then uh, yeah, we're going to the to the Halloween party. It's of uh, Prince Marcus, right? It oh. is his Halloween party. So uh, he has the biggest party of Dubai in his fucking backyard. It's crazy. Like thousands of people are coming. But I think we have the best best outfit, with no doubt, of course. This so is, this uh, is. yeah. See you guys at the Halloween party. Ciao. My what day. do you have there? <laughs> I have one for the home. <laughs> <laughs> you put somebody on the chain? Yes, my man. <laughs> uh, the ladies on the chain. So uh, this one uh, goes around your arm and this one around, around, the, around neck. the neck? Yeah, man. <laughs> I will walk the dog. Because man. otherwise they walk away, you know? Yeah, I will walk the they, dog. They get man. tired of you too quickly. <laughs> So we're now in the elevator. We need to walk through the lobby. Let's see what the people think. <laughs> if they like the outfit. Party. Yes. You like the outfit? I like your outfit also. No, I go to play. Paddle. Paddle. Nice. You like my style? You like my style? Yeah, you have a good style and you have a good watch. Yes. I love your watch. You need to look good, man. You need to follow me in my Instagram. <laughs> You have the Very big famous. you have the big boy watch. Daniel Merkin 4. So. So. Is this your uh, account? Yes. Nice. nice, nice. Man. What do uh, you do for a living? This is good. Enjoy the life. <laughs> so you are a fashion uh, icon. Walking in the palace, nigga. <laughs> yes, the only man. <laughs> the only man. That's good. So you open the palace. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's how we like it, huh? That's how we like so it. So there are 12 ladies. Yeah, so it will be on the seventh floor in front of the lift. You Thank you, brother. Did you hear that correctly? 12 yeah. ladies That's how and two guys. Let's <laughs> see what the man is. Good outfit. Let's see. What do you rate our outfit? Yeah, but Seth, but Seth, I, Which? I, Give a number. I remove it. Makalo. It's a malimento. Kubulo. Pablo. Tugelo, Pagelo. I'm here with my Nigerian yeah. brother. Whoa, what oh, oh, where are we in the building? Oh, whatever. Oh, yeah, whoa, man. Oh, oh, Nua. Oh, Iwoa. You man. know Iwoa? No, listen, you know, but Iwoa is Kewe. Yeah, Iwe. Kewe, Kewe. Kewe, Kewe. 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 Uh, Vince, what do you think of the party? To be honest, bro, I didn't expect it to be that crazy, man. Prince Marcus uh, arranged it, eh? Yeah? This guy, I think, 70% yeah, women. To be honest, I respect the guy, he knows what to do. We have everybody here. We even have the fucking Joker here. Yeah. Hey, hey fucking Grey Goose on the house. What the fuck? This Br guy was like, he was like, no man. Do you want vodka on your body? Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely no man. Bring fucking Grey Goose because yeah, you know, like we throw in the party. Bro, you are a fucking big baller if you organize this party with like thousands of people. Everything for fucking on the house. free, everything on the house. It doesn't matter what you want to drink or anything, everything on the house. But there's levels guys, you don't see uh, people in the Netherlands or a ballers in the Netherlands do this. Who has a fucking Halloween party with fucking thousands of people. Like a festival stage. Like a festival with everything on the house. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. 
up guys how are we doing so i'm just chilling here on the balcony i have my organic press green juice keeping it healthy need some vitamins in my body so i just came off a call i had a uh, yeah, first call introduction call with a uh, new possible coo of uh, the company icon icon amsterdam we've been looking for a coo but to be honest it's hard as fuck to find good people and especially a coo who's gonna be like your right hand now my right hand is ruben of course but i see how fast we are expanding with icon that Ruben has a lot of pressure on him, which is, uh, of course, good. But if we want to go to the next level, we need someone new, a new CEO with also some outside knowledge, you know, who not how. Think in terms of who can help you instead of how can I do it? Because how will have you take limitations? How will have you doing it yourself, right? We are like, fuck it. If we want to go big, we want to do 30M next year. What do we need to do? And one of the, uh, those things is hire a fucking good CEO. So I just had a call, it was the second or third call with, um, or the second or third introduction call. Ruben has had like 30 calls with all uh, uh, potential COOs. And then the ones that uh, are a good fit, he sends them through to me to check if I also think they are a good fit. The first two, they, I, yeah, they were shit in my opinion. They had very good knowledge and I could definitely see them help us icon to go to the next level but i hire based on my gut feeling and also a bit of personality you know i don't want my brand icon to turn into like a corporate boring as fuck company no it's not fun i see the enjoyment in all my uh, employees their eyes right now have you seen our fucking office have you seen our office it's it's gangster as fuck there it looks better than 95 percent of all other offices and people love to work there you know people from my team they come there whenever they they want to well we're here in dubai they're there all fucking day making themselves comfortable and that's why they are executing you know so what am i looking for a coo who is of course has has all the qualities you know has all the knowledge comes with like okay we can implement this uh, this is important take care of the pnl take care of, of all the managing aspects so we keep running but most importantly someone i can level with someone i respect who is chill who understands me who understands my brother not someone who looks at at me and uh is like oh it's just so young and you know there are some people who will look differently at you when you're so young you're the leader um, <laughs> you're balling out as well and uh, i don't want that I, I i want people who from a to z of course respect me icon was never what it is right now if i didn't go through hardship if i didn't step over obstacles right so i want someone who respects me respects what we've done respects the brand you know and um is open-minded so i had an amazing call uh, in all honesty, I already chatted with Ruben and uh, we are gonna hire her. So it's a woman, it's a, uh, also uh, yeah, a woman from Amsterdam. Yeah, she's the perfect fit. She has uh, very good qualities. Yeah, let's see what that does, you know. It's uh, good to take steps like this, level the fuck up. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for this. Why? Because while well, I'm here just on the balcony, Dubai is the best place to visualize your shit, you know. So I'm here thinking about the next moves. One of them is uh, a good fucking COO, which we've now found. Let's see how that goes, guys. Yes, guys. Monday evening here in Dubai. It's 7 p.m. here in the Netherlands. It's 4 p.m. So heading in to Monday's Q&A call, which I host. And uh, it's going to be a good one as always. Beautiful downtown of Dubai downtown one of the best areas to be if you're about business leveling up so see some people coming in let's drop some value guys ciao because um you said you were very uh, grateful as well for this opportunity can you maybe share yes. uh, for the other people what you've uh, got from uh, the elite so far and what yes, kind of numbers you are doing it's uh now yesterday uh 4 4.8 4. it's important um that's you, you, you need to be really positive and already think that you already have it. Like, uh, I, I thought, okay, we will hit the 5.0. Okay, now we do the 1,000 euro. We did uh, 1.4. And next week, 2.7. Now we will hit for sure the 5K. Tomorrow, 10K. And, and you started and, from zero, right? Yes, yes, from zero. From zero, like a month a month ago. Uh, my my uh, all, uh, all the things were we're ready to go um and also the obstacles i see it more like 
today I was online like 12 o'clock, but I see it more like, okay, let's fucking get it. Let's fucking grab that 5k by the throat because yes, we're, we're going to fix it. And my goal for this, this month is so a hundred K day. And I think we'll, we'll hit that. So uh, also the, the AB, uh, yes, the AB campaigns I had before the, I sold it for 30 euros. Now I, I run it on 44.95 and it has a row as today of three, also 49.95. So see the opportunities. If you have a winner, just steal it and uh, see what's going to happen, man. Sick, man. So yeah. uh, doing good. And uh, yeah, thank you. Also, always good questions. So you now get the results. You're welcome. Thank you, bro. Okay, I will, I will, I will uh, text you when uh, we hit the 20k, man. Uh, definitely, definitely. Yes, people. So just came off that great Q&A call. You saw some of my clients, right? Absolutely winning. Maurice at the end, for example, simply showing his gratitude, showing what this opportunity did for him. He started at absolutely zero about a month ago. Now did 4.8k in revenue yesterday. We laid out the principles for him and he executed. He went all in. He's now already started traveling. He was now in, in Spain, in Mallorca doing his thing, networking with others in my community. Simply amazing, guys. It's November at the moment, so I'm doubling down. The world rewards action takers, action takers, not people that are just sitting on the sideline, thinking and wondering and dreaming for hours. Bro, if you want something, you go fucking after it. All the tactics are already out there. Same what we do. Uh, for example, about 70% of my clients are uh, dropshipping, most of them general dropshipping. Guys, we have the best general dropshipping tactics in the game. That's why my clients can scale from zero to, to for example, 4.8k that fast, you know? And then once you're doing good, you can make the step. Oh, let's do branded dropshipping. Oh, let's build a brand. Guys, for everything in this fucking game, we have the best people. Of course, I'm not here to brag. But I'm the one here with a brand that did 2.5 million last month out there helping people. Guys in my team that do over 1 million a month with dropshipping. Guys in my very close friend circle that do millions a month with dropshipping. It's no wonder that uh, my people are succeeding, you know? But anyway, hungry as fuck. Only had one meal today. It's 8 p.m. right now. I don't like to do calls late in the evening, but um, the time difference with Dubai is now about uh, three hours. So uh, yeah, let's uh, go grab some food. I'm here in the hotel room. I didn't party, but... <laughs> the, still had the balloons and everything here. So uh, yeah, guys, let's get it. So it's it's fish tonight. All you can eat. Looks good, no? Not bad, man. So it's gonna be good salad. I think they have yeah, they have caviar here too. Oh man. Will be a real food. We have more here. Let's see. Yes, look at this. You know, cheesecake, fruit. But this, this is not good for the diet. But it looks good as shit. Oh my god. So this will be a real feast. It's all you can eat, guys. So I think you pay like. Uh, 200 uh, dirhams or something or 300 dirhams all you can fucking eat it's crazy round two guys you have to believe these prawns are unreal man very good get some salmon as well too good all the freshest five star five star foods arrived back in Amsterdam already waiting here for the luggage for like 45 minutes very bad service but I uh, had a good flight the flight with Emirates was good um, so it's like uh, six hours only so it's now around uh, seven in the morning um, so today I need to pick up uh, my dog at my parents house Sky I uh, missed her for a long time so uh, pick her up after that uh, need to arrange some things at the office uh, and also get get the car out hopefully it still starts the, the Lambo 
because it's standing still for like one month. Um, but yeah, let's see. Let's search for my baggage, guys. What a big mess in here. So guys, back home, please remove your little turns. So I didn't be here for five weeks. Let's see how that house still looks. Still looks good, red bottom. <laughs> A lot of trash, shot too much before we went there. The killer gorilla. Boquito, still one of the best art pieces. So I'm going to clean up the house, get the car and everything ready, and it will take you with me. Let's check if the car's still in the garage and if it's running. I don't know, uh, but I see it there and it looks still good. So let me show you. There we have it, still clean. So let me take uh, this off. Still looks beautiful, always good. Now let's see if it's still running because what we had with the SVR, if we didn't use it for a month, for example, then it didn't work anymore because it had like, how do you say that? In the Netherlands you say, uh, Aku problems, but it still works, it's good. But now man, the Euro is still beautiful. I think from the inside, with no doubt, the most beautiful Euros from the Netherlands. So uh, let's give it a spin and then uh, I go to the supermarket. So it feels good to drive back in the Urus again, the little beast. But yeah, the Netherlands, what a shit weather, you know. It's better to be in Dubai, but still, it's good here to work from the office with the team. Making plans, strategize, hiring new people. Also, um, of course, when you work together at the office, it's better because you can see closer what other people are doing. And of course, you uh, keep the keep the, the line short when talking to each other or working on a certain task. So that's what you don't have if I, for example, work from uh, from Dubai. Um, but yeah, that's good. So uh, I also hired like three new people last uh, two weeks. So I um, want to see them at the office, uh, talk with them, uh, work them in. So yeah, it's all about expanding the, the team and expanding the company and executing uh, things currently. So uh, that are the things I'm, I'm working on right now. So it's like execute, execute, execute. Also for Black Friday, we have billboards coming. Uh, what we have more coming like we have uh, 10 times more creatives than last year the creatives are better than uh, last year yeah everything is better what we do this year compared to last year that's why uh, we do uh, more than double or triple the revenue uh, <laughs> because we do such a good job right now now picking up uh, yeah our dog at uh, my parents house so sky didn't saw her for a month so pick her up after that i need to uh, arrange some things clean the house um, go to the office, arrange some things for new um, yeah, people that we have working on in the company uh, because currently we are very busy with uh, expanding the company. Uh, I just hired a new um, yeah, website manager, so uh, he will manage the whole uh, website and uh, have contact with developers and things like that. I also just uh, hired a new marketing assistant. So um, yeah, we just need more hands on the marketing team because that is just um, yeah, the most important thing, a uh, uh, team, of course, because always, um, yeah, the team that drives sales is the most important in your company. Because without sales and without getting new customers in, uh, your company is nothing. Uh, back end, of course, always comes after that. They are coming in. Also, a new uh, COO is coming in. Uh, nice uh, lady, a uh, lot of experience. Also worked for worked for some big companies uh, in the past. She will, she will take over a lot of uh, tasks that I'm currently doing. So that's also good so I can uh, more uh, look uh, at the business from a helicopter perspective. For the people at home, I'm now driving behind uh, yeah, the bus I always went to school with. So since I was like uh, 10 years old, always in the uh, bus line uh, 135. So I was like almost the only one with Samo in uh, yeah, in that bus, always sitting in the back, you know, uh, we didn't know where we were going in life. 
and uh, we're now driving in the Urus so see the difference and this is like only let, let's say what is it I think five years ago so imagine how fast things can go you know I was always sitting in this bus for one hour um, because it was like one hour uh, to school um, and this fucking bus stopped at every uh, little village you know and I also uh, with someone lived in a small village even if it was like only 50 minute drive it uh, took like one hour uh, but good to look back on it, this, you know, uh, always um, yeah, know where you're coming from because maybe people think me and my brother uh, come from a, a big city or we were spoon fed or our parents uh, gave us things, but that's not the case because, for example, this is where I live. I also uh, drive a lot here with the bike. Uh, it, it, there's nothing like only like uh, farmers and, and, and fishermen, fishermen, you know, so always uh yeah look back where you're coming from and, and be proud of that yes guys ik ben hier met uh, quinten quinten uh, yes, yes. ongeveer twee maanden terug uh, traject gejoin ja kun je voor de mensen vertellen wat je nu draait en uh, ja hoe alles is uh, bevallen ja man ik uh, zit nu twee maanden ongeveer in het traject anderhalve maand ongeveer live en uh, ja, sinds een week draai ik uh, gewoon steady 4k dagen met tussen de 20 en 30 procent profit marge. En voor iedereen, als je geld wil maken en je hebt 100 procent inzet, ik zou zo zeggen, let's get it. <laughs> Fucking crush it. Wat, yes. Waar, waar, waar uh, aan merk je bijvoorbeeld dat je, uh, ja, hoeveel je aan het traject hebt gehad? Wat vond je heel nice? Hoe is dat uh, gelopen? Ja, dit is mijn tweede traject die ik heb gedaan. En dus, ja, dit is gewoon, uh, van samen wel, is gewoon echt. Ja, zoveel waarde krijg je in die coaching calls met de coaches. Je kan alles vragen. Als je ergens mee zit, je loopt vast of zo. Ja, en dan uh, ga je die dag erna ga je gewoon weer keer twee. En die dag daarna ga je keer drie. En uh, ja, het is echt uh, gewoon fucking waardevol. Ik heb geen andere woorden voor het. <laughs> dus echt, uh, ik had een doel gezet. En ik wou 6k netto uh, wou ik, uh, pakken in één maand. Nou, dat heb ik nu gewoon in vijf dagen heb ik dat gedraaid. Ja, het kan er alleen nog maar meer worden. Dus ik, ik denk, uh, voor een weekje heb ik de hele traject heb ik eruit. En dan kunnen we dan alleen nog maar meer plussen. Nou, nu uh, dan gaan we gewoon alleen maar door. En we uh, andere landen pakken, nog meer maken. Dat is echt waardevol, man. Top, man. Dat is echt ziek. Thanks, ja. Quinten. En er uh, komen veel mooie dingen aan, man. Sowieso. Thanks, wel. We gaan verdubbelen. <laughs> Here we go again, guys. In the rainy South Us. Tub again, I checked it. It's, it's like four degrees now, the tub. So uh, let's go one minute in this thing. Easy, lightweight. Oh man, this is so fucking good. Yeah, man. Looking over a whole Amsterdam in this ice tub. Then you get the real vision. Uh, look, 45 seconds to go. In through your nose, out through your nose. I'm here with Suwaj. Our old client, one of the first clients we had in our coaching program. You started how many months ago? Uh, I think almost nine months ago, ten months ago. Nine months, ten months ago. And now you and your business partner bought uh, one of your dream cars. Yeah. Yeah. Man. So uh, to tell your honest opinion, what do you think about the coaching program and in general? I think one of the best, maybe the best. So what, what did you learn from it? Uh, it's a lifestyle change. It's your mindset. Business-wise, because did you already do eco before the coaching? We did a little bit of eco, but mm -hmm. not on the level that you guys started. Yeah, yeah exactly. So currently, what you're doing like uh, per month, if you can say that? Uh, well, we had some issues. Currently, we're at I think five uh, five day days. So oh, that's still good. That's still yeah, good. yeah. Starting so what is the goal for November? Well, I have a meeting today about the goal, so yeah. it will be a tough So you still do it together with your business partner? Still together. Great, right, man. Yeah, man. Winning, so we'll keep pushing it. Yeah, Appreciate it, and I'll see you soon. <laughs> yes, guys. So we have my breakfast Monday morning. We call it Money Mondays, my favorite day of the week. So in a bit, I will show you how I will book a flight with my uh, Air Miles. So I'm thinking booking 
first class flight. So I will show you uh, how it's done. So you basically uh, fly for free, but first I'm gonna uh, enjoy my breakfast. So we have my account here. As you can see, 36,000, 136,000 miles. So here I'm gonna select classic rewards, then do first class. November 9th. Boom. As you can see, 102,000 miles plus 1.6k AED, which is about 400 euros. So, what I also saw is you look at business class, for example. So, if we click business class here, search. Business class is 87,000 miles. So the difference between business class and first is not a lot. It's only like 25K miles, so, or not even 25K miles, um, 15K miles. Sorry, my uh, calculating skills are not the best. I'm not, but I make money, I make money. So <laughs> it's definitely a no brainer to uh, go for this one. And um, yeah, I save a mile for every uh, dollar I spend, so yeah, let's book this one. Okay, here I can select the seats, so I'm going for this one next to the window, first class, going 777-300, confirm selection, continue to payment. Okay, and there we have it, flight is booked. Yes, people, so I'm waiting here on my driver. He's running a couple minutes late, but uh, just chilling here. Guys, I really think that address has the best spot to do meetings. So if you look around here, it's all five star. They have the best coffee out here ever. Of course, it's an uh, expensive luxury place. Uh, you pay at least uh, 10, 15 euros for a coffee. It's all very, very nice, very soft cushions. Yeah, and you just feel like a boss here. So let's see if my uh, driver uh, hurries up a bit. So I'm running late. We're gonna get some IV drips today. So uh, we're focusing a bit more on uh, yeah, health, biohacking. Yeah, it's doing very good. Uh, I will show you some stats later. I've been tracking myself with uh, the Whoop device. You guys all know it. For the people that ask me on my story, oh, what is that app? App, bro, it's not an app, it's a device. Whoop monitors your heart rate, your sleep, your recovery, everything. And uh, it's very good to do, especially if you're trying to improve your health or your diet, so you can see, okay, today I ate this. Um, today I ate, for example, very late. Oh, I see that my recovery is not good. So then you can monitor that and adjust it and then eat maybe a bit earlier. So um, the next day you can see if it worked or not. That's what I'm doing. It's all the small, small adjustments. But when you look online, for example, I found this out yesterday. Cristiano, for example, bro, he also wears the book during the game, but he is, has tape around it so you don't see it. But he's also uh, monitoring it. Uh, do what top 1% do to get what the top 1% has. Guys, it's not just money, it's all aspects. It's health, it's mindset, it's, it's confidence, it's fitness, it's looks, it's everything. You might get overwhelmed by that. No, no man, get motivated by that. Because most people are not working on that. So if you do so, it makes you very different. It makes you very easy to stand out from the crowd. That's what we do, man. I'm becoming a 10.0 version of myself and I want you to become a 10.0 version of yourself, man. Come on, just imagine, just get that picture in front of you of who that guy is and go get it. Please. So here we have the driver, finally. He was a bit late. Hi, sir. Thanks so much. So there we are. I'm running about uh, 20 minutes late, but it's all good. Good morning. Good morning, how are you? Good, uh, sorry for that delay. Yeah, There's it so can happen. <laughs> Where are you from? Uganda. Oh, nice. 
I'm half Nigerian. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Half Nigerian. <laughs> half, half American or what? Uh, 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 half Netherlands. Oh, you know Netherlands? Yeah, they call it Poland, is it? No, no, no. Amsterdam. Amsterdam, Amsterdam, Netherlands. Yeah. The tall people, you know? Yes. Netherlands. Tall white people. Netherlands. The other, the other word for Netherlands is Holland. 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 Yeah, Holland. Uh, the Dutch people. Yes, Dutch people. Correct. Yes, yes, yes. Panoramic or the executive? Um, the, the panoramic suite. Okay, so it will be a total of 14,460. Okay. Payment by cash or card? Good. This is for three, three nights? For three nights. Okay. okay. Away to the suite. 1403. Is, what is this? Is, is this the, the club lounge? Oh, it's good. I'll check this out later. Yeah. The, the, what is it? Can you just uh, drink, eat, or Everything. yeah? Fourteen zero three. Zero three. Yeah. So I'm gonna check this out in a bit. This is only thousand. Very good, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. So guys, back home. You remember this from the vlog. You can put um, luggage at the big there. Yeah. Yeah, just put it there. Thank you. Yeah, wow. It's just perfect, man. Clean. Gonna do some crazy grinding sessions there. With the balcony. Nice. Come on, man. You must grind so that they will put your first and last name on the fucking screens. That's why I put in some effort, man. Did you say terug van weg geweest? Yeah, we have beautiful bathroom. Here again, guys. The bathroom. Famous bathroom. Shouting in the fucking mirror. Fuck me. Kitchen and that. Can make some scrambled eggs at least. So that's perfect. Oh, here for you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so thank much. You, Always good surface. Good, thank, thank you. Thank you, you. Bilal. Okay, thank see you, you yeah? In time. <laughs> <laughs> see you. Come on, people. You always got to tip your, uh, your guys. If you're making money yourself, abundance mindset. I always tip people. I always overgive when I get good surface because I, I'm not missing that money. To be able to tip someone, for me, it's a small gesture, you know, but to them, it makes their day. It's, this guy is an amazing guy because he saw me switch rooms here three times this week because the suite was not available, but now it's available. And he's like, oh, you're upgrading, huh? you're upgrading. Now you're at the best spot. Yeah, of course, of course. But um, yeah, maybe you got to check out that club lounge. I uh, didn't see it last time when I was here. But um, guys, it's abundance mindset. If you give money, the universe will give it back to you. That's why I hate them people who fucking sit on their money. They uh, keep everything to themselves. That's why they, they ain't making that much, you know? In Dutch, we say... Uh, Spiker. If you sit on your money, you're a spiker. Fuck that, man. I give my money, I share it with everyone. That's why the world is giving to me. That's why uh, God gives me more, right? Because in all honesty, once you're at a certain level, you don't exactly even know how much money you have in your bank accounts or multiple bank accounts. Money comes in, money goes out. So, and that's good, right? So, or it's it, it can also be bad. You can also spend 2K on a black t-shirt uh, sometimes, but that's what happens. But, um, yeah, man, it's good to uh, be able to uh, be here again. Next time in Onuha Uncensored. So I found out that there's a business lounge here. So I'm gonna take this spot. Quick change of plans. I will stay for one more week in Dubai. So right there on one of my old students, Ruth.